progenitor cell activation is really focusing on the dormant stem cells that are in with every, every human body on Earth has them, and we figured out a way to unlock them by working with the body's natural stem cell biology uh, by delivering a drug locally that's based on small molecules. And that really makes up the core progenitor cell activation uh, value proposition. Are you focused right in on hearing and improving hearing loss. Why is that the initial focus of the technology? Yeah, it's a huge unmet need. Um, and there's currently no therapies on the market for being able to restore hearing. Right now, you only have hearing aids and cochlear implants. Uh, that's the, you know, sort of the commercial proposition. Uh, to understand the full value proposition, this technology was developed out of MIT and Harvard Medical School by Bob Langer and Jeff Karp. And what they saw was the ability to deliver molecules locally in the GI system, which is a highly regenerative part of the body. Uh, and that work was published uh, in Nature back in 2013. And then as great scientists that they are, they asked what's the least regenerative part of the body of which hearing uh, is that is one of the systems that, you know, that there's no regeneration. And they figured how to, you know, hotwire that biologically to create an outcome that is truly extraordinary. Well, as you mentioned, a couple of the competitive alternatives or alternative treatment processes with in cochlear implants and hearing aids, what is the cost differential to your solution versus those more traditional methods? Yeah, it's a great question, Anthony. And re really, the key thing to understand is we're solving the underlying biology problem. I mean, this is where medicine's going and where I think, you know, reimbursement's going to go. If you're not solving the underlying malady, uh, I think you're going to have a hard time, you know, down the road in order to be able to command a premium. And so we're focused on healing the body's underlying biology by just working with, you know, a system that's already in place, these stem cells, and creating a, an, a, a, an effect that can help people, you know, really improve their hearing, where hearing aids are only as good as the underlying biology, and cochlear implants are really the device of last resort for people that have really profound hearing loss. Well, you think about the benefits of the technology with respect to hearing improvements, you're mentioning that that's the lowest probability, lowest effective way for human cells to ever regrow. That's the lowest re regeneration rate. Once you get through that, what beyond hearing can you apply progenitor cell activation technology to solve other problems? Yeah, it's really, it's, it's a great question. It's really exciting. Our focus is on hearing regeneration. Uh, our work's been peer reviewed and published in journals and uh, with other publications pending. Uh, but beyond that, you know, we're looking at skin, the GI tract, diabetes. Th there's a whole platform that you could really move into. And we've done some initial work. And obviously, from an intellectual property standpoint, we've been, you know, very savvy about how we think about this platform. But um, hearing is just the tip of the iceberg. When you think about those new and alternative treatment opportunities beyond hearing, what is the training necessary uh, for healthcare practitioners to effectively administer the treatments? Yeah, it, you know, so this is what's so profound. This approach is just very simple but very powerful. And it's local delivery of small molecules into various parts of the body that can have these dormant progenitor cells that we can use to activate and create a healing response. And you can do that in the ear, you can do that on the skin, you can do that uh, you know, for cartilage and other parts of the body. It's a very exciting you know, approach and opportunity. And really, we believe it's a whole new mode of medicine. So minimal treatment, uh, minimal requirements to train the practitioner. But from the patient perspective, is it a seamless process as well? Absolutely. Um, you know, practitioners can understand how to do it. It's very direct. It's a local injection, and so you're avoiding a lot of the complexities that you have when you deliver a drug systemically. And it's really just a shrewd and savvy way to think about healing the body, taking the existing biology, in this case progenitor cells and stem cells, communicating with them with small molecules temporarily, so which means you're just giving them a biological nudge or kick in order to get them to do what you're asking them to do, and they're already programmed to do, and then those drugs go away, and the body then takes that system from there and creates a healing response.